tutorial is and in this video I'm going to discuss about ng4 ng4 is Angular's directive it is called structural directive of Angular ng4 was also present in Angular point Angular 1 point X version and after Angular uh, 2 it has been continued so in this video I'm going to show you with example that how Angular uh, Angular's this ng4 works so let's first uh, create a project and then we will uh, see how this works just open command prompt and then I created seven directory CD seven now I'm going to create one angular project so ng new ng4 press yes and then again so finally it is installed now let's cd ng4 now let's start with ng serve ng serve okay the server started so now let's go to the browser and check call host then what two hundred sorry there is a spelling mistake local host two so this is our skeleton project now let's go to here command prompt and create a new uh, component called students list so control C to break the server and now press NGGC NGGC students list students list now press enter to create this new component inside this NG4 project Okay, our project is created now. Now let's go to Visual Studio Code. And now let's open the project. So go to PAL and then open folder here. Okay, now go to SRC and then app inside that app you can see here students list and here it's directive so let's copy this one and then call this into app dot HTML let's Control A and then delete this whole things and then paste here. Sorry, so this is the thing. Now let's check into the browser, repress it. Okay, we need to start the server once again. So, better let's start server here. Click new terminal. then ng serve press enter the server started and now let's refresh it so 
So simply it is displaying students' works because in this HTML file, only this thing is written here. Now we will create a list of students here inside this not this one, this is path file actually. So inside this component students component this one here we will create one list here I've created an array of students so here will be for the timing let's delete this one we don't require currently this one and also implements this ng on init okay so now here we will write f name roll number one f name rajesh let's create one more field called lm kumar bill this one Now let's create another list. So just copy from here and put comma here and then paste. So each time it will be two F name Oof. is 10,000 and date of birth say 91 similarly let's create the third one and fourth one so three and then four Then this one five okay. So these are the list. Now the same list we want to display into our HTML file using ng4 so once again check here we have put here a square bracket so this one actually is an array blank array in under which we are putting this data and this one is an instance of this array object of this array so now let's go to the HTML file the students HTML list here and let's create the list here so simply I'm going to create here table table close then tr and tr close td and td close so here we how many fields are there let's see one two three four five six so we need to create one two four six fields will be there so here will be roll number here first name last name email oh there is no email I think there's no last name gender gender and then 
fees and date of birth fees DOB now so this one is let's write here something style style with 50 percent border one px solid red style width t px semi column border red okay let's check how does it look like Okay, so this is the one. Fifty PX not actually fifty percent. I wanted to give here. Say five hundred PX. Okay. Still com compiling, that's why. Okay, so now we will display the data below it. Just copy this one and paste below. Here we will apply the ng for directive. So let's write here star ng4. Here we need to write here students and then let ng4 equal to let student of students. So what is this students? This students is actually from here, this array object. And now we are creating here through this for loop an object of this students. So now if you want to display here the roll number, then simply write here roll sorry inside this roll let's see if it is capital or small small okay similarly so let's see if it's displaying or not actually this is still compiling that's why yeah, now it's compiled and let's check. Roll number is not displayed, so there's something wrong. Let's check here. Okay, sorry. We need to write here student dot this one. Dot roll. You can see now it is displaying one, two, three, so somehow I had forgot here. I think four. So this one is four, one, two, three, five. Okay. In fact it should be four. Okay. Similarly we need to write the F name element gender. So let's go to here this file. So here we f name l name gender then g 
जीनर फीस एंड डेट ऑफ बर्थ फीस एंड फाइनली डेट ऑफ बर्थ Still compiling. That's why. So, F name element. There is a mistake. I think. F name element. There is no capital. That's why. Here, all each small. Here too. So here you can see this data is displaying through ng4. So let's recap this. What did I do? So first of all, I created a component called students list and then inside that list we created this array which is JSON format data and then finally we call that here using ng4 so hope you like this video so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye